Hello, and thank you for joining me today on Live With a Purpose. We are called to be the tabernacle, the dwelling place, the house, the temple of the Lord. In the Old Testament, this is where God would reside. At the same time, God had to leave the temple in the book of Ezekiel. Why? Because God kept warning his people to get their act together to purify themselves, to separate themselves from among unbelievers. Not that they couldn't be uh, friends and charitable uh, in a social way, but not to take on their culture and their societal norms. That is, not to be overwhelmed and convinced by the world. Well, they didn't listen, so God had to leave. In the New Testament, the Lord Jesus uh, instituted the new covenant, and we, we uh, believers everywhere, Jews and Gentiles, are the temple of the Lord. More so, each believer is a temple of the Lord where God resides, and therefore we must uh, respect God and respect his house. We open ourselves up to the Lord. We must respect his rules, his ways. Why? Uh, because it'll bring us joy. It will please the Lord. We will learn to live the way we're supposed to live. Uh, it's a way to straighten out our lives and live morally and rightly before a holy God. In 2 Corinthians 6, from verses 14 to 18 in the New Living Translation, we read, Don't team up with those who are unbelievers. How can righteousness be a partner with wickedness? How can light live with darkness? What harmony can there be between Christ and the devil? How can a believer be a partner with an unbeliever? And what union can there be between God's temple and idols? For we are the temple of the living God. As God said, I will live in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they will be my people. Therefore, come out from among unbelievers and separate yourselves from them, says the Lord. Don't touch their filthy things and I will welcome you. And I will be your father, and you will be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. We are the temple of the living God. This is not an idol. This is not a pagan God. This is a true God, not a mythical God. And that was precisely the problem. Everyone has their own gods, their own idolatry, their own sins. And if we follow after other people and their ideas and their philosophies, and their ways of living, we get drawn into it, and we lose contact with the Creator Himself. So is God trying to take our fun away from us? No. He is merely trying to keep us in the family and show us a better way. We're the ones who are supposed to lead. We don't follow. Their fun is temporary and is illusory. It's not really there. But what we have is firm, and is grounded in God himself. Think about this today on Live With a Purpose.